welcome to another video to the channel thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are here today thank you guys yet again for coming to the channel if you guys are interested please be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe for more amazing content because only you that is right only you can make a difference for today's channel so your support is greatly appreciated and today guys we're going to be doing something a little bit uh, a little unique to the channel um as you guys know i'm a very big fallout guy okay um i started playing fallout 3 that was my first fallout uh, my brother came over to my house whenever i was younger i was probably only like 10 12 years old immediately fell in love with the concept of the game everything else the layout the aspect all that stuff the fun happy jazzes um was amazing i really liked it i thought it was really unique and um now there's some other stuff that's kind of going on as you guys can see from the title fallout london has officially released its announcement now before you guys are already putting in the comments it's not a real fallout game i understand and that's going to be the disclaimer at the beginning of this video. This is not an official Bethesda AAA title product, whatever you want to call it, Bethesda product game. This is not an official Fallout by any means. This is completely made by a development team outside of Bethesda. These guys are moderators. They're mods that have been making and working on this game for a couple years they get into it a little bit um i have not watched this entire video we're gonna sit through we're gonna watch the video and then we're going to do just a little bit of talking at the end kind of you know our first impressions and then uh what we think kind of towards the future uh as you guys know if you guys are following along in the channel on our twitch or youtube whatever you are uh maybe kind of you know interacting on the channel with us on we are also doing a Fallout 4 playthrough of our own. We're doing the 100% achievements. We're currently in Nuka World right after this video is actually being recorded. We're going to be in Nuka World. So if you guys want to come hang out, maybe you'll catch us in the live stream. Maybe you're going to be seeing us do some Nuka World, Far Harbor stuff. Um, we are very close to finishing that out. But with that being said, after we're done... This might be something that we might be looking into whenever it's fully released, um, fully comes out. There are other projects, obviously, out there in Fallout 4 that are um, very big in the community. You have Fallout Frost, that's a big one. There's an entire uh, mod that absolutely rehauls it, so you can go back and play Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas in Fallout 4. So just a bunch of fun stuff. This is very similar to something like that. So with that being said, guys, let's dive right into the video. Okay, here we go. Fallout London official release announcement. Let's do it. And uh, I will say, before everything gets, you know, crazy, I watched like the first minute, minute 10, and Greetings then uh, and here we go. Welcome to the latest update Turn it up for Fallout London. This will be our most significant update to right. date, revealing more than ever before about what we have been working hard on for the past few years, laying out I'm the path excited. to release and announcing our official release date. Okay, okay. Over the past three Look years, how good it a core looks. team of at least 50 people spread over each core oh, department wow, man. have spent tens and this is of what thousands I like. of hours on the hard graft and development of the game-sized oh. mod Fallout London. I'm so With excited. over 200 individuals contributing in some over way. Over 200 people have worked on After this. After all this hard work, the game is now at a functional content complete stage. However, Okay, now I'm not going to be like trying to pause and break down everything. I do just want to point out though, like seeing structures like this in front of us, these big areas, like this looks like an entire fort that looks like it could have been an outpost somewhere that, you know, obviously maybe gunners or something overtook, but it actually looks like it should be in a Fallout game. That's all. Due to some unforeseen delays, we have not completed the polish and testing. I'm gonna we imagine that had to do a lot release. to do with like COVID and, and stuff so like that going on. We will on. be pushing back the release to a few months later than originally planned. Okay. We'll explain more about this and the road to release later in the video. With these unforeseen changes, we wish to give you a taste of everything that is upcoming to show you all the hard work we've Ooh. been doing. Oh, is that like a faction sign? All right, man, here Building we go. London. In the right. radioactive playground of London, our world spaces and level design aren't oh, just blueprints. I'm so excited, the man. In which players graffiti their own tales. We're not building mere level. So, like, a lot of the spots right here, they remind me of, like, when you first cross the bridge over from Diamond City. This area just kind of looks like that. Okay, I'm just, you know, throwing so that out we're there. We're, in fact, crafting London from the ground up. Mm, recognizable. Like, look at that. Changed. Warped. 
A world oh wow, look at the bridge. Shakes your legend, and where the landscape is as deadly as are those? Are those um? They look like the little creatures from uh, Fallout Three, like the Into the Pit guys. What were those called? Like drogs or something like that? The they looked like drogs. Drogs. Oh my God, throg. Of London to openly explore. I must say throg. We begin with areas such as the leafy okay. suburbs of Bromley with its wow. 261 cells. Camden, the trendy Green, canal paths Greenwich, of Camden with Greenwich, Greenwich. Cells. I know there's Steel different ways to not pronounce that. In the financial UK guys are telling me. Of London, boasting 139 cells. 283 cells make up the ruined hellscape of Croydon. Not That's much crazy. change there, huh? E so, I'm again, I'm going to talk about this. For those of you guys that don't understand what they're talking about, all of the not all okay I, I might be wrong on this not all of bethesda games majority of bethesda games your skyrims your oblivions your fallouts your starfields even games like outer worlds okay they work in a cell layout that is how the games are made so whenever this guy's saying like okay this has 283 cells that's just basically how big of an area this is how many areas you can explore just the vastness of the majority of it um i don't have a good comparison to tell you guys like what how many cells this area had like i don't know how much diamond city has like i don't know the cell count for diamond city <laughs> but but these are impressive numbers regardless because this is an entire map, man a new compact district with exactly 100 cells okay so basically here he's saying it's a new compact district 100 cells so if this is going to be a compact district at 100 cells a place like croydon i think that was that one that was 283 that's going to be insane that blends history and modernity because like that the looks like a relatively big look at 460 is greenwich with its maritime charm greenwich 400 oh look how nice it looks Hackney with its vibrant racing heart of how can we not want to do this cells. islington's cultural enclave oh i'm so excited man cells of eclectic charm the cramped ruins of Lambeth with 175. Oh, look at like that little. Okay, see, like right there, that looks very um like there's a ah, dude. I haven't played Skyrim in so long, but in Oblivion, there's an area you can go, and I think it's in Elder Scrolls Online as well, where there's all these like mushroomy, very like cool vast trees. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. The urban mosaic. You can see the like. Cell there's some inspiration from some other games. Newham. A dynamic district with 109 cells, where radiation change is the only constant. Ooh. Historic streets of Southwark with 437 wow, cells. Wow, 437! Every corner whispers tales of yore. Tower Hamlet's 368 cells of wow. where power and history collide. These the look awesome. The Parkland of Wandsworth and its 388 cells. I wonder if there's going to be... Um... The political like settlement center boasting 304 hopefully cells. there is because i'm a Creating huge fan of the settlement has required concepting design wow testing, and onerous nav i'm already impressed they produce a cohesive but you have to remember it's also engaging for exploration it, it's combat. not like but a i want to say they're not real developers because that's they're that's totally 764 not far from the truth. cells lock stock and barrel Amongst these eclectic three thousand over three thousand five hundred cells, with a final total of eleven fascinatingly oh. diverse will spaces. But like these guys are so talented. That's what I'm trying to say. It's just so cells, impressive. Forty-eight of which are the scale of the base game's Corvega factory, and a total of oh seven God. unique settlements for you to build to your yeah, heart's there it the is. total area covered by our world is equivalent to the base game Commonwealth and Far Harbor DLC combined oh you let's go makes fallout london one of the largest mods for fallout 4 today let's yeah. fucking go there ads oh my god dude. 3d populating this huge okay. area has required the creation and adaptation of uh -huh. an enormous number of 3d assets oh dude here we go here we go urban sprawl to the tattered armor shaping your oh dude look at the fucking armor it's medieval armor man and then it has like the whole like uh the crest oh my goodness character's attire let's go the eerie glow of mutated Ooh, fungus, what the fuck is that and the ominous cyber pigeons desecrating forgotten cyber pigeons because birds aren't real life into the panorama of all what life. is that dude 
I didn't know about like him. He looked a little weird. Been reskinned or tweaked to fit a British setting. A great number of items. Oi, mate! Made from scratch you tell me everyone's gonna be speaking like a Brit. Them. They include custom All right, then. clothes, races, foliage, specific architectural kits, and Ooh. of course, finely brewed pots of tea. It also includes oh, many well, hundreds of miscellaneous assets, from iconic London buses to the humble three-pin plug to the extra mysterious cute Hulu doll. Every asset oh. meticulously crafted for our setting immerses players in a world rich Wow, with they really made their options. own Fallout game, our bro. Our assets let the player explore a new reality where each detail beckons, inviting you to forge your this own path. This is insane. They should be highly proud of the themselves. Unknown. They're doing things that 2D. Todd Howard fucking wishes to Our 2D do. artists have produced a plethora of artwork to populate the world with London-centric content. Love New it. New signage, posters, graffiti, I love it. comic covers, logos, and textures. 005, dude? Unbelievable future London for okay. get immersed in. In oh addition, my God. we have overhauled the user interface with our Attaboy alternative to the Pit Boy, which includes yes! some animations for stats, oh, perks, dude, and yes, I need like a, a freshness. Protect and survive family. What is this? Music. Fallout London sports a completely new okay. and unique OST, covering all music found in the base game while adding more. It includes a completely new and overhauled soundscape, right. ambient okay. and gameplay soundtrack, and features three new radio stations you can tune oh, wow. into. Whether you are feeling classy on the BBM, we interrupt this monologue to bring you a stunning development. Oh, or yes, are after dude. some American classics with Crystal Palace Radio. Hello to all you wonderful listeners. It's a ghoul. Sweet. Or just after some good old fashioned anarchy in the UK on the mend with Dan Bull. That was freshly squeezed with Animal Soul. Oh my god, New dude! audio is all part of making our adaptation this. feel true to London, How could we whilst not also love integrating this? seamlessly into the style of the Fallout universe. Our full OST is also available early for you to listen to on our YouTube channel. Oh, hell yeah. I'd love to Gameplay. hear it, actually. I would like Much to check it out. Much of Fallout 4's acclaim stemmed from its distinctive mechanics, such as settlements, and we've elevated that legacy with our additions, including a revamped crafting system for oh, ammo yeah? and tea, an overhauled perk and dialogue system, skill oh, yeah. and perk checks in dialogue. My word against yours, eh? Innovative fast travel options, okay. including trains, taxis, and boats. It's too risky to transport the three Dude, of us. How can we not play this? Waters. Dynamic weathers, new smoking mechanism, playable guitars, unique uniques, new player the animations such as ladder climbing and swimming with a noteworthy addition Thank cow milking yes we needed it what the fuck Quests. not all right here the we go story and quest lines of the game get meaty some of the greatest amount of work in the mod involving writers Good. scripters Good. voice actors Good. And audio engineers Good. to produce a breathtaking array of content yes fucking hit me with a cricket London paddle dude a collection of 53 new main quests Ooh, in and wow. around the city these wow. engaging narratives offer various choices and challenges in the okay. wayfarer's journey to shape the future of old blighty from uh -huh. self-contained adventures to larger quest lines Players have plenty to uncover outside of their main journey, with a total of 35 side quests, 25 new faction quests, intricately tied to the various groups you'll That's encounter sweet. across the city. These quests That's offer really cool. unique challenges and storylines, allowing players to deeply engage with the factions and shape the course of their journey. Uncover artifacts, tie up loose ends, and solve mysteries in the bustling world of Fallout London with 64 miscellaneous quests to enhance your experience. On their travels, players okay. may find themselves entangled in the bitter conflict unfolding on the streets of East London. With 16 branching quests, the journey Gangs? is rich with challenges and intrigue. So what's the difference between a faction and a gang? I guess the gangs just aren't bigger. There are seven companions you are able to recruit in the like game. Factions are including actually like organized. One very British best boy, who we are sure will charm players just as much as dog meat. Are you fucking kidding me? Turchill! The dog! Oh, let's go! Oh my god! Five of the That's companions the best are more human-ish. 
and are fully voiced with detailed relationship levels. Shall we venture out again, matey? Branching matey. relationship based dialogue with the player, Shall we commentary venture out on again, the world matey? and events, and their own companion quests. In total, there okay. are just over 90,000 recorded dialogue lines in the game, which is about one and a half times the size of Fallout New Vegas or Skyrim. I'm I, just I shy of that founding I'm hyped, Fallout 4. Dude. However, their protagonist was voiced, and ours is, as the community preferred, silent. Are oh, you yeah? going to let the greedy heating companies and their crazy high prices decide if your family is allowed to stay warm? So he's silent. Wow. Release. Okay. Our commitment to delivering as are. polished an experience as possible will lead us to miss our intended release window. The main reason, to be transparent, is the impact of global issues on a considerable part of our scripting team, including the head of department who comes from one of the areas most affected. This has understandably shifted their focus away from the mod, and while we've managed to catch up through reorganization and reskilling of team members, it has come at the cost of testing. So unfortunately, we won't hit the 2023 target we aimed for. Okay. But the sheer amount of progress we've made this year is immense. That cannot be understated. Okay. But our ethos has always been to release when the game is truly ready. Our okay. community stresses avoiding a buggy release like some of our predecessors, and we are committed to a game we can all be proud of for everyone's enjoyment. Okay. Now, we've set a specific release date. The release date for Fallout London will be St. George's go. Day, the 23rd of April, 2024. Okay. As you know, we right. consistently operated I like quarters, it. So we're just one quarter over our plans. Close, but no cigar. And for that, we apologize. However, rest assured, anticipate our arrival at the end of the first quarter. I'm so Perfectly aligning excited. with the debut of the new Fallout TV series to truly get you in the oh, mood. Oh, shit! In the coming months, we'll focus on refining, rigorous okay. testing, and balancing to meet the high standards oh, you I'm so expect. excited. All of the team are done with their main tasks now and fully support this effort. And we've set a reasonable deadline to ensure careful completion aligning wow. with your expectations. In the meantime, watch out for further updates from the team as we build towards release. If you want to stay up to date with all activity, please join our Discord server. Wow, there and it is. feel free to support the work of Team Fo on our is. Patreon. As always, stay... Wow. So that's it, man. That's Fallout London's official release announcement. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know I really did. I know if you're not the biggest Fallout fan, you might not really care about this too much. It might not be the biggest deal to you. Um, but for someone like me that, you know, as much as hate Fallout 76 has got, we've talked about jumping back into it and trying it out. Um, we are currently playing through Fallout 4. We're going to eventually jump back, try to 100% get the achievements on New Vegas. Eventually do a playthrough of Fallout 3 for the funsies of it. But Fallout London's just like, it, it's going to fit the plan, right? We're going to get this game to play. Hopefully whenever it releases, it does like they said. They're trying to make it not be a buggy mess. Um, I It is not that I don't think it's going to be a buggy mess. But I'm going to imagine that there's still going to be some problems, right? Because even with a, a dev team of 200, I feel like as many play tests as you go, you cannot predict like human outcomes that people are going to try to do. Like you're just not going to be able to predict this guy is going to want to do this and this and this in this exact area where it causes this thing to like clip and fuck up or whatever. Um, and, and again, I'm sure they're testing things very extremely hard and trying to do things to the fullest of their potential. Um, I believe the game's going to be good. I, I, I do. If it's anything like, again, if, if it is anything like how Frost got perceived by the community, I feel like it'll be great. And, and the thing with Frost, too, is it's still a select taste because of the difficulty. They didn't mention anything in this game about how hard the game is actually going to be to play. 
So I'm curious if this is going to be more of like a casual playthrough, which I'm imagining it is because as much work as they put into it, they're not going to want to make it where people just aren't going to be able to play. Right. So I, I think that's like a big one. I, I think that the more we find out in the next coming months, they're definitely going to be talking about things more. Um, they, they're very open with it. You know, they were, they were open. They were honest. They said, Hey, look, like we, we were trying to get to this point. We weren't, we're pushing it back. This is what we have. We don't want things to be bad. They're still working on some stuff. Um, overall, the game looks amazing. I mean, the world, we already kind of talked about a little bit in depth with the cells and the amount that they have. It's a huge game. Uh, they said as big as the base game plus Far Harbor, as far as the game goes, that's insane. Um, they didn't mention anything about like software specs, which I was a little bit like disappointed in. I'd like to see like what they recommend to try to run this. Um, and at the same time, I'm not really sure like how we're going to be able to play this. I'm going to imagine it's probably something on like a Nexus mod order list. Something like that is where this is going to be released at. Um, I I'm not fully sure, uh, the release date. It's not so far away. Um, we got a couple more months until April, and then hopefully this game's going to come around. Uh, April is usually a big like release date with games, though, so we'll see how you know a game that's not even an official game gets perceived again. Uh, and I'm excited to try it out. I think that's really all I really want to talk about. I was really excited to check this out. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know, is this something that you guys are going to try to play? Is it something that just looks neat in general? Um, are you excited to see us try this out? Uh, let, let me know. But with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see everybody all on the next one. Bye-bye.